brace yourselves for the city's first microbrewery. Located in Laimukra, the heart of Shillong, the Eastern Civilization boasts a unique setting, making it an attractive spot for both tourists and locals seeking a taste of freshly brewed beer alongside a blend of vibrant experiences. The Shillong Microbrewery is set to offer a distinctive experience to visitors featuring tailor-made beers crafted from locally sourced ingredients. Apart from its brewing operations, the Eastern Civilization boasts an inviting ambience with aesthetic lighting and pool tables, offering patrons a comfortable space to unwind and socialize. The establishment, which includes a restaurant, bar and multifunctional space, aims to generate revenue for local farmers and producers. TYC is ready to change the way you drink. TYC is ready to change the way you drink. Ladies and gents, hello and welcome to Shillong Buzz. I'm Aaron Lingdo. My guests this episode are the co-founders of Shillong's first microbrewery, the Yeastin Civilization. Well, Team Yeastin Civilization is here to craft unforgettable moments and offer you a sip of crafted excellence. Please welcome my guests this episode, Furness Dhar and Rishabh Jhunjhunwala. Gentlemen, first of all, welcome to the program. Let me begin this conversation by asking you guys to introduce yourselves before we dive into uh, this venture and, of course, this amazing space. Let me start with Rishabh. So, okay, uh, my name is Rishabh Jindunwala. I am born and brought up out here. And this is, this is I'm the fourth generation out here in Shillong. And uh, I have, uh, mainly we are into textiles. Mm -hmm. uh, my primary business is into uniforms. We also have a shop called HU Textiles. That's my primary venture. Brilliant. Pa Furness. Uh, so I'm, I'm Furness, Furness Dhar. And uh, of course, in, in terms of work, i mostly into real estate and uh, also with other businesses. And um, yeah, and I have been having the privilege to work with the Shalom Chamber Choir for quite some time also. So yeah, and they've been uh, like family too. It's interesting, it's an eclectic mix mm. of a lot of founders <laughs> and co-founders, which is mm. always a nice thing. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Yeastin Civilization, the name, because I find that very quirky and catchy to begin with. What's the story behind it? So it's basically a wordplay, uh, Yeastin, why yeast? Yeast is the main ingredient of beer. You need yeast to prepare beer. So that's why Yeastin. And when you, when you pronounce it, it's called the Eastern Civilization. True. So we are in the east side of the country, Got also it. in the east side of the world. Interesting. So that's how the word play comes from. Mm -hmm. And what about the interiors? Where does this inspiration come from? Because I see there are two spaces here. One probably, should I say, a more family kind of Restaurant, ambience yeah. in towards yeah. yes. where we are right now is more mm -hmm. of the bar, pub, slash area. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. how, what's the story behind the interiors? Yeah, I would say uh, if you look at interior mostly, where if you see even the the material that was used for interior, like we have the Sora stone, and we really want to bring the the feel of Shillong, and the concept of having two places, uh, different places where here you have more like a pub and uh, and uh, the other side is more of a restaurant. Is like you know that you can have the is a place for everyone, for uh, you know for the whole family from the younger generation to the uh, older generation to the kids and everything and we're hoping this is a phase one and uh, in the phase two we'll be having the rooftop and uh, yeah and we hope there's more to come. What's the phase two Rishabh? Phase two basically is the terrace firstly as he said mm -hmm. and also we are coming up with rooms uh, below this True. so a combination of both will be the phase two. Once we come up with the terrace, we will be the biggest microbrewery in east of India. Interesting. We'll mm. be covering 17,000 square feet. Mm. That will be the biggest brewery in east of India, not just northeast, east of India. Even Calcutta's biggest brewery is something around 14, 14 and a half thousand. Okay. So, mm. we Shillong will have the biggest brewery, the first and the biggest. <laughs> That's always good news, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, for the benefit of the viewers who really don't know what, you know, a microbrewery is and how it works, why don't you guys briefly explain to us what it is 
and you know so we clear clear the air once and for all so brewery brewing brewing is the process of making beer so uh, it 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 starts step wise so first we need the base the base is called a malt okay so we are importing the malt from germany so the malt goes into the machine and then after that you add flavors to it and the flavors also decide the the percentage of alcohol it's going to hold True. so we will be having a range from 4% mm. till 18% okay. so uh, in between four flavors so we have a choice mm. yeah you yeah, have okay. a choice we will we'll mm. be having four flavors mm. one will be a cider cider we are going to make with pineapples oranges like basically we are trying to use the local produce out here and in regions yeah and our, our state is the best in producing pineapples and oranges mm. as we all know yeah. so that will be the cider part mm. then comes the lager uh, german wit we call it the wit beer and then a stout beer okay so you'll have a variety to choose from depends on your taste depends on your alcoholic intake as mm. we say mm. you might like one out of the four but you stick to that true and hopefully you will come back and again and again <laughs> exactly buffers <laughs> yeah so yeah like he said uh, uh, the local ingredients that we be using it's like especially the we are known for the pineapple and oranges that we have and uh, i think that will make us different because uh, like, it's a, you go on this concept is nothing new in that sense it's mm -hmm. new for shillong but it's uh, it's very common elsewhere but you not get the pineapple which is uh, meghalaya pineapple this is the only place where it would be because it is True. meghalaya and yeah. uh, and we want to promote in such a way that tourists who come here and i think we believe that most of the tourists who come here and who have tasted beer all around the world would like to taste our pineapple uh, flavor beer i wanted to hear from both of you what's the prime objective of setting a microbrewery right here in town one could be uh, see it's a, it's a it's a boost to the society we are hiring so many people as you see we already have around 60 people mm -hmm. already hired mm -hmm. we are planning to hire another 20 25 in the coming times secondly tourism when a person from outside he comes to meghalaya he doesn't want to sit in his hotel okay we have beautiful places beautiful natural beauty mm -hmm. but at night he wants to go out somewhere and you know like the family wants to have a good time so mm -hmm. one of the objective is that second is to promote can you believe it like pineapple is one of the best ingredient which can ferment a very good cider beer mm. and we have the best of the best pineapple out here mm. so to think about it it's like it's going to be a blast right. i feel yeah. yeah and i we also uh, are looking at not just a place where you come and eat and uh, and have the beer it's also a place where you can experience good music uh, shillong is known as a capital of rock and uh, and i think there's a uh, quite few uh, venues which is mm -hmm. uh, giving a good live performance yeah you know what um, what's interesting is uh, the timing of the opening because when we spoke before the interview guwahati already has your freemasons nuts and brew what took the eastern civilization so long you are saying long i would saying we are very fast <laughs> trust okay. me yeah. mm. place like delhi mm. doesn't have a microbrewery yet a place like mm. delhi is the capital of india right that's news yeah yeah so mm. they don't have mm. a microbrewery yet mm. so this is quite good and i would thank the government of meghalaya yeah. so much like when we approached them it was a long road it's a long road because you know like behind the scenes there are a lot of permissions to play by the book we have to be by yeah. the book yeah so it's a long road but with god's grace the darbar out mm -hmm. here has been very supportive yeah the excise department the honorable minister he is like one of my favorite person trust me and then also apart from him everybody has been so supportive so we are very fast compared to the size of the state we are in uh, in in india i'm telling you there are not more than 10 states which has a microbrewery so we are amongst the 10 that matters yeah yeah, yeah it does yeah and i'd say like drishap added uh, to, you know it's uh, was starting a uh, Uh, a place where you serve uh, alcohol it's not easy in meghalaya and uh, the dorbar has been very supportive because they understand our vision we and, and uh, we also think of it's the the locality and the dorbar and then uh, for our young people we want it a place where people right. uh, you know come and relax and all but it's not a place where people create trouble and all mm -hmm. and we so far we ha don't have that complaint and we don't intend to have any such complaint and uh people are having a good time here and then we have a lot of uh, young people from the locality working as here as mm. uh, in the security uh, and then also with uh, in in uh, among our staff and also yeah i'm 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 so glad that uh, dobar uh, here is uh, open minded and, uh, and and supportive to us and 
because they see that uh, they were here on the opening day uh, and they see the whole vision and the whole thing and uh, they were, have been supportive throughout. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about one thing because you guys are bringing in, let's say, a new culture, the craft beer culture. Yes. How do you see the Eastern civilization successfully function in that space and still stay relevant? You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we, even though you don't have competition just yet, but how do you see yourself maneuver the competition? No, yet? see, uh, basically, uh, whenever in this place, whenever we have done anything, we have not tried to compete with anyone exactly. else. Okay. Mm. We have tried to make our own space. Mm. Like, let it be our chefs, let mm. it be our interior, let it be our anything. We have never tried to compete anybody that mm. we want to defeat this person right. or defeat this place and become the place. Mm. It's about what we want it, we are bringing it up. So, mm. as it comes to craft beer, craft beer has its own benefits. And, uh, okay, we, all, we know that we have the first right. mover's advantage, but we also know that the second place will come in yeah. today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what makes us ahead of the game is that we have the best of the machineries. Our plant is uh, semi-imported from Germany, okay. which is like, you can say it's the mecca for brewing. Uh, the motors, the pumps, everything is from Germany. And uh, also our brewer is a master master brewer, like he's an he's a artist himself. Right. You should meet this guy. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, uh, the, the ambience also matters because, you know, you can have a beer in your car also. And when you have a beer in somewhere else, like in a good place, the same beer will make a difference. Like, you know, it tastes different. It's the experience that we're talking it's the experience, about. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The experience exactly. is like, well, yeah. Mm. And, this, and this also is our, our staff who work so hard. I mean, uh, they, they work so hard. And we, we, the, on the beginning of the project, we had a, uh, a meeting with all the, 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 uh, the people who are involved in this. Mm. And we said, starting a business is starting a family. You know, and it's, it's a family. Which, uh, you know, it's in our head right now. We have a lot of family. We have a responsibility of a lot of families. Like, you know that we have 60 people working with us and their family is connected with us so they are very we are true. responsible of that and i think it's very important that uh, the customer and uh, anyone who come here experience that there is a it's a is a place where each staff is happy with what he's doing and that will create a lot of uh, a good, uh, good atmosphere, good, mem good memories, memories for, for clients. Yeah. For At clients. the end of the day, it's, it's teamwork, I yes. believe, and it's really nice to hear from the owners themselves that, you know, all your employees are well looked after and that their happiness is obviously top priority, right? Yeah. They are just the promoters. Very they true. are the one running the place. Yeah. They are the one who is running the place. Yeah. If true. you have a good experience, it's because of them. Yeah. If you have a bad one, it's because of them. So, we are just yeah. promoters, right? Mm -hmm. So, they have to be. So, gentlemen, we've spoken a little bit about the craft beer and a little bit about what's on the menu. However, I want you guys to dwell a little bit right now on the food uh, because I've read somewhere that, of course, you have this global eclectic menu. At the same time, you're also focusing on your North Indian cuisine. What else should I know? Well, uh, there's a, there's, we have a huge menu, like you said, and uh, we are so grateful to our consultant who had... Uh, work so hard and they be before we even opened the restaurant we had uh, intensive uh, food trials. tasting trials uh, and we have been having friends and coming giving the feedback and uh, a, a lot of hard work has been given and a lot of research has been given I personally I would like to speak to one of the I mean I would like to mention about the, one of the dish which I really love and the, my personal favorite is the matan nihari okay. and um, uh, we are the, from what I have I, I'm personally I love food and uh, we are. Uh, I've been to many restaurants in Shillong and Guwahati, and uh, definitely in Shillong, uh, but most probably in in in, uh, in Guwahati also. We are the first one who served this dish called mutton nihari. It's a mutton. Uh, it's a dish which uh, it we take uh, nine to ten hours to cook, and uh, it's a uh, slow cook. Uh, it's a stew, but it is in a form of a curry also, right. and you can have it with a, with a bread. And this is usually had during the t time of Mughal. The, the soldier before they go, they go to war in the morning they m make this mutton nihari yes. and then they, yeah. they get up and they take it and they, they eat it with bread so before going to war and also and then it's amazing uh, taste I, I mean that is one of my recommend if you exactly. come and dine here True. which is one of my favorite and apart from that also we also uh, have local cuisine like the jado and do gem but we had made it into our own it's, in, in, it's become a, it's a, a fusion with a, a little bit of improvisation. Yeah, with with, with um, so a bit of improvisation and all. We serve it in in a you know in, in a uh, nice way and all. So yeah, there's a it's a long list. Maybe Rishab can explain more. What's Rishab's so, favorite? Uh, my favorite are the pizzas. Okay. So we have this uh, wood fire oven, 
which is very rare in Shillong. So prior to this place, my favorite place for pizzas were Domino's. And when I would say this to my outside friends, they would laugh at me. <laughs> you should see <laughs> Domino's. Right. Because they have the authentic, you know, the, the, uh, the authentic Italian fresh dough pizzas. Which we didn't. Right. So finally, out here, my favorite is the pizzas. Undoubtedly, mm -hmm. it's like good. You should try it. <laughs> mm -hmm. With uh, we'll definitely do that. Yeah. You know what? Twenty first century. Anywhere we go, everybody's thinking about health benefits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because we all want to live younger and longer for whatsoever reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So, if there are any, you know, what are some of the health benefits of, let's say, consuming a freshly brewed beer as compared to the conventional ones that we already know? So. See, too much of anything is very bad. Yeah. You should never have too much of anything. <laughs> yeah. Right. I agree. But if, 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 if consumed in the right quantity, mm. beer has a lot of health benefits. Like it can reduce the chances of a heart attack, heart diseases. It reduces the chances of diabetes. The list goes on. Mm. And compared that to the... Fre that's I'm, I'm talking about beer. Like True. beer in general. Mm. Compared to the fresh ones, fresh ones, there are no preservatives. So that's Point. like always a boost. Right. And uh, mm. plus the flavors are added by natural fruits like you know uh, fresh fruits organic fruits so that's i think so it true. it's better than the bottled ones like you know the distilled ones yeah true for this yeah i uh, i people ask me that question a lot and i like you mentioned too much of anything is bad uh, but i my simple example to them is that when you have a, a uh, you, you, i personally love uh, wafers and chips you know so the 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 packet one that you get and the one you make at home is completely different. Both right, exactly. are potatoes, you know. Those are, but the one you make at home, it's 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 fresh. It's so just imagine uh, you drinking a beer from a can. There would definitely is a preservative, preservative there, right. there because definitely. to keep it for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that in in our place is that there is a uh, we, if uh, there is a time period if we don't finish the beer in those time, we have to throw it out. We have to throw just complete of it. it just so all that you have here is fresh and it won't stay for long. So you won't stay for long. Right. Yeah. So we have to finish the beer, mm -hmm. uh, and if we cannot sell it before that, we throw it all away. Okay. And uh, and that is uh, we commit to that that we we, we, we do that and, and and that is the biggest thing. It's uh, you know it's a freshly made you can say. Yeah. True. So how has the response been so far, guys? Amazing, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. We are like uh, almost packed every night. And uh, lunch is also doing good, right. and people who are coming are giving us good reviews. That's what that's what's most important for me. Like you know, like uh, the the sales and all is okay. That's also important. But then the reviews are coming good. People are liking the food. They they like the fusion which we try to create. Right. So according to me, that's a very good response. Very very good response. Nothing can be better than this. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts, Pafonas? I see. If you ask any father about the children, he will say it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so oh, maybe so far so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, but I would say yeah, we we have a. Uh, good response from people. I, from my personally, whoever come here, it's and I. We had quite few uh, uh, important dignitaries who have come. Like yesterday was one uh, very well known politician who came on his own. Just two of them. You know, they just walk in and uh, they just see and they were just looking around the place and they said, "This is amazing." The big, because you know, the biggest struggle in Shillong is the space. Right. right. And. Uh, yeah. To have such a huge space in Shillong, we are really blessed. We are really blessed, really really blessed in the heart of town. True. So that is one, and of course, uh, uh, the rest of the thing is the food and everything. But uh, I think space is something that we have been really blessed. Interesting. Yeah. You know, you guys have promised to show me a little bit of the brewery area. Yes, and Explain yes. to us the process. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, I want you guys to tell me, probably the viewers watching this right now, why should they visit the Eastern Civilization? What is there? For them, so that they could come back for more. It's an endless list. Trust okay. me. Let, let's start. Let's it's start with five. List. Come on. Like I am not talking as an owner. True. But I was so excited about this project as a consumer. Right. Like you know the things we are doing out here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the cocktails. Right. We have a huge list of cocktails, the signature ones. Then we have the the mixologist specialist. Right. We have a mixologist in the first place, which oh, most of the places, they don't so have it. Let's clear the air once and for all. It's not just uh, your freshly brewed beer. We have well, cocktails that's, and wh that's whatever it's on the part of it. One yeah, part that's of one it. part of it. Okay. But then we have everything else. Mm -hmm. You can come for the cocktails. Like if you are a straight drinker, let's say whiskey with water, you get that anything you want. Anything you want. Basically, this place is to have a good time. You know, you we our, our uh, whole idea behind opening this place is that you should have a good time. Right. Right. Irrespective mm -hmm. how you have it, mm -hmm. maybe no alcohol for you doesn't matter. Just mm -hmm. come and have the food, try it out. Fair enough. So yeah. that's the whole idea. So there are endless reasons to come here, 
as you can see we have a outstanding uh, menu which uh, like i would not say others don't have mm -hmm. i'm sure they also do have but as i said we don't compete with right. others so we have outstanding menu you please come try we'll we'll you know like we'll we'll have reviews of yours mm -hmm. true we'll do and that and apart from that we have good cocktails apart from that we have the brewery apart from that we have a dance floor apart from that we have matrix lightings so there's endless reasons to come here and mm -hmm. this i'm strictly saying as a consumer not as a owner true. yeah openness yeah i it's uh, like you said is endless list but uh, i think uh, this place you'll find it in a different uh, time of the day and it's 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 different like even if you come on on, on friday night it's a different uh, atmosphere you get and and on on sunday evening where you have a very uh, nice and uh, you know some classy music playing and then for those who want to have fun and you know dance is friday night is is there and then even if the, the different time and you want to come in the daytime they will have uh, you know go to the restaurant so it is a place for everyone i would say exactly. every corner is well thought of and every area is uh, well thought of and uh, so yeah those are the things and we 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 are not just selling food here our aim is to sell uh, experience and exactly. to, to create good experience for people and uh, we've been having for the last from the day we opened a lot of people had uh, uh, book our place for engagement i'm uh, sorry not engagement as uh, an anniversary birthdays, birthdays and uh, you know just a uh, family time and oh, so that can be done as well like a private party yes yeah, yeah. you can so you have multiple spaces, spaces. Multiple like spaces. you know for example this yeah. room this mm. is we call it the pdr the private dining mm. room okay so this can accommodate 16 people mm. if you want to have a like you want to be in the scene yeah. yet not in the scene exactly this is your spot You, you can you can have this place if you have 50 yeah. people. You can have the other restaurant right. areas. Yeah. We have multiple spaces. Like for this place, you 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 take this place. You know you can have your own set list of music that you play. You know it's just like uh, you can see the ambience and all. Right. But uh, you have a service guide that mm. dedicated to you and everything. So it's it's like this is whole place is like like your own uh, own. You know, living room. Your dining room. Your own I dining like room. I like to call it yeah. the one-stop destination. <laughs> we we want it to be that way, yes. right? Yeah. Well, on that note, you've actually put it very well for all of us. I think it's time for us to hit the brewery part. Yes, I am excited to show it to you. Let's go and see it, right? Yes. Perfect. Come, let's yeah. walk in okay. there. <laughs> The Eastern Civilization is bringing the world of craft beer to Shillong. It is dedicated to providing a wonderful kind experience with gourmet food and delicious cocktails and more. Well, to me, this is the perfect place to unwind, socialize and party with friends one brew at a time. You're watching Shillong Buzz. I'm Aaron Lingdo. Until next episode, goodbye.